Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from Intensive Care at Home, where we provide tailor-made solutions for long-term ventilated patients with tracheostomies and also where we provide tailor-made solutions for medically complex patients in the community that otherwise require an intensive care bed. And that means we're also providing tailor-made solutions for hospitals and intensive care units to save money and resources whilst providing quality care. In this quick tip video, I want to talk about cerebral palsy uh, and intensive care as well as cerebral palsy in the community. So here at Intensive Care at Home, we're looking after a number of clients in the community with cerebral palsy that are medically very complex and that need 24 hour intensive care nursing at home because otherwise those clients would be spending 24 hours a day in intensive care. It would be a burden to the health system. It would cost a lot of money, but way more important, um, those clients and their families wouldn't have any quality of life because quality of life really can only be achieved at home where hospital and ICU admissions can be avoided predictably because that's the service we are providing. We're providing an intensive care at home service and especially when it comes to cerebral palsy, many of those uh, clients have regular seizures, they need airway management, they often need BiPAP at home, they often need cough assist at home. These are all um, nursing skills that can only be provided by intensive care nurses with a minimum of two years intensive care uh, experience. Now, this is backed up by evidence-based and, re evidence and research, where if you look at the home mechanical ventilation guidelines on our website at intensivecareathome.com, you will find that after nearly 25 years of intensive care at home nursing, um, the research clearly shows that the only way uh, someone on a ventilator, tracheostomy, BiPAP, seizure management at home can be managed is with an intensive care nurse with a minimum of two years ICU experience. And again, we're maximizing quality of life for our clients by providing this high level service in the community. I argue we are looking after the sickest and highest security clients in the community uh, worldwide, really. There's no other service, as far as I'm aware, that can provide that level of care at home. Uh, than, than we provide. But more importantly, our clients, especially with cerebral palsy, have a good quality of life at home. In some instances, we are talking about quality of end of life as well, but it's the much preferred option compared to those clients going in and out of intensive care, which is pretty much what happened with those clients prior to our service, providing 24 hour intensive care nursing at home. So this is my quick tip for today. Uh, please bear in mind that if you are at home with a, a loved one that has cerebral palsy and needs high level nursing care, is at risk of going into intensive care regularly or is in intensive care, you should definitely contact us here in Australia. The NDIS is funding 24 hour intensive care nursing at home. Um, at the TAC, Transport and Accident Commission, as well as the DBA, Department of Veteran Affairs and other funding bodies have an interest in our service because we're basically cutting the cost of an intensive care bit by 50% and by not having people readmitted into intensive care, we're also taking the burden of the public and private intensive care units um, and provide a win-win situation for all stakeholders, really. So if you have a loved one at home and you're not getting enough support, you need intensive care nurses, go to intensivecareathome.com and call us on one of the numbers on the top of the website. Or if you have a loved one in intensive care that is either ventilated, tracheostomy needs BiPAP, CPAP ventilation, has seizures, is medically complex, you should contact us as well. We can help you get your loved one home from intensive care. And we can help you with the funding side of things as well. Like this video, comment down below what um, insights and questions you have from this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for updates for families in intensive care and also for intensive care patients in the community. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecareathome.com and I'll talk to you in a few days. Take care.